Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Well, as I promised, finally, we are up in the uh, theater room. And I don't think I'm going to title this uh, Home Theater. I might just title it Home Entertainment Room. Um, I don't have movie posters in the movie theater curtains and all that, um, like I've had in previous homes. Uh, this is more like an extension of the rest of the house, but with a very large screen. Um, so instead of showing you the whole room to start, what I'm going to do is piece it together. And then at the end, we'll do a tour and you'll see it all come together. Sound like a plan? I will tell you the sectional is new, theater screen and the projector is new. Uh, there are two new pieces of furniture and two I brought from my other home. And we're gonna piece it together with lamps, some artwork, not a lot of artwork. Um, a lot of my architectural pieces that I love to decorate with and lighting, lighting is key. So if that sounds like fun, join me. This is sort of different than uh, the way I typically decorate. A little bit more masculine, I would say, but with the cozy factor. So let's get right to it. All right, to start, we're going to be working on this wall you see behind me. Directly next to it is just a big walk-in closet, and I just want to throw some artwork on it. It's when you come through the door, you look over this way, and I just want it to be cute. You'll see this whole room when we're all done. So um, what I'm going to do is start here. We're going to move over here, then we're going to move over there, then over there, and then back there. So we've got a lot of areas to style today. Um, in any case, let's, let's do this. I've got this wood shelf. And uh, you can see, you just hang it on the wall this way. It's super cute, black and this color wood. Let's hang it. I have two little pieces of artwork that I thought were rather cute. I found these at Hobby Lobby and yeah, they're different. I was panicking for a second, like, did I get two of the same? Um, but we're gonna hang one and angle one on the shelf. We're gonna take this one and slightly angle it on the shelf. All right, next, we're gonna add this pretty candle holder that's distressed with white and brown, which I love. And to that, we're gonna add this uh, LED flameless flickering candle that I got from Amazon. These are beautiful, especially at night, highly recommend. And I'm just gonna place this on here and put it in the corner. I'm super into pottery right now, and I can't even remember where I found this. The sticker's off, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna stick some greenery in it. I buy this garland at Hobby Lobby, and then I cut it into pieces so I can use in displays and pottery, and it looks so real and authentic. I just love it. <music> So I think that turned out really cute. I love it. And uh, you know, you've got some rusticness of the pot. You've got the, the greenery, which adds a little texture. You've got the sparkle from the candle, and then you have some pretty artwork. And then you've got the warmth of the wood. So when you put it all together, it's a cute little package. Okay, now on this big wall, 
you can see this is a new piece of furniture from Hobby Lobby. And it's different for me. It's, I typically like more traditional type of furniture, but in this room, I decided to go different. And I'm kind of mixing the two. So, um, yeah, let's decorate this. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, to the top of this table, we're bringing in a little bit of old world style. Why? Because I don't think it ever really goes out of style if you do it right. I have two of these. I bought these at Ross years ago and you know what? They still do sell them. You can hang them on the wall or you can simply place them on a table and lean them. And that's what I'll be doing here. Okay, next, I'm really, really, really into texture these days. So I found this lamp at, I believe, TJ Maxx, and I, it has a nice shade, and I'm gonna place it off kinda to the side. I'm all about my ambiance, so let's turn it on. Let there be light. For me, when I do my little displays, I always think of these things. Do I have a focal point? Do I have ambiance? Do I have warmth? The warmth of the wood. And have I added texture or some reflective property? Um, usually when I have all those kind of grouped together, it makes for an interesting display. All right, next, I'm going in with this really cute little olive tree, and I got this at Target, Target. Um, and I'm gonna set this on the other side, and this is going to act as my textural element. My apologies, the furnace just kicked on. It's a really cold day here in West Virginia and I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm gonna go in with this cute little plant in a rounded wood pot. I love this and found it at Home Goods. Okay, next, I'm gonna go in with this little uh, canvas wall art that's, you know, a pot with olive branches. And I'm simply gonna just lean it right here in the center. And to finish this look off, I have this cute little wood dough bowl and to that I have moss balls and grapevine balls. So decorative balls are a great way to use as filler and it also adds a pop of color and it adds warmth. I'm going to place this a little slightly off center. I think this is so cute. I absolutely love it. Now, the only thing that's driving me nuts is the electrical outlet showing. So, my remedy to this is place a big basket. Love baskets for that reason. So, I love how this turned out. It's really cozy. I like 
I like, I just like it all. It's so me. Need to order a faux fur, beige and brown blanket. I just, I have a gray one and I am obsessed with it. Whenever I watch a movie, it's the first thing I grab. I don't care if it's summer, winter, or in between. These blankets are amazing. So I wanna get one that's um, beigey in color. Once I do that and order one, I will put it in this basket down there. Now the last thing I want to do in this corner is add a uh, a little decorative ladder with some greenery and fairy lights in it. And I'm just going to set it over here. Okay, next up, we are gonna be decorating this space right here. And I did bring this from the other house. What you see here is an old picture frame that I got from Kirkland's literally like 10 years ago. It was a Tuscan picture, it was beautiful. And what I did was I just took out the artwork and it left me with this beautiful frame. And I love to decorate within a frame. I think it really gives it visual interest. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here today. I'm gonna to add something in the center. I'm gonna add matching lamps, one there, one there. And we're gonna decorate the top of this beautiful cabinet. By the way, in case you're interested, I got these lamps on Amazon and the cabinet. So I'll try to link them below in case you're interested. But next, what I'm gonna add is this. This is a little cathedral window that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's distressed. I added a wreath from TJ Maxx, super cute. And I'm gonna hang it within the frame. By the way, in case you guys wanna do something similar, you just take a tack and twist it into the wood and put your tack uh, not from the front, but from the back and then it hangs perfectly. So what I did was I took the frame and I hung it right there at the top. Then I took it and I turned it uh, angled and then I was able to stick it within the frame. Make sense? So you can see I hung it at the tippy top and then moving down, like I said, I took the frame out this way and then I was able to snug it inside of the frame, which is kind of cool. It almost gives it sort of a 3D appearance. Next, I'm gonna add the matching lamp. Okay, the furniture piece you see behind me, um, which I absolutely love, that I purchased when I was really into the French country look and feel, and I still am, I still love it. But because I decided to use it in this room with a little bit um, more masculine looking pieces, I would say, I need to try to make it match. And the way to achieve that is by adding this wood tray with black handles. You can mix and match. You know, if you have furniture pieces that aren't matching with other things, just try to mimic the, the look and feel and the style by adding accent pieces. And you can make it work. So let's style this. I'm gonna keep it dare I say simple because every time I say that I go a little extra so let's just see what I do
I decided to elevate my bunny to kind of raise it to be more aligned with this greenery. Um, it was just too tall and overwhelming. So now that I've elevated the bunny, they're more on a the same playing field. You know what I mean? So it's easier on my eye. So I wanted to fill this wall space here. Why? Because it's across from the sectional and then the theater screen is all right here. And when I sit down at night, at the end of the day, I wanna just curl up with my blanket, my blankie as I always like to say, and just get cozy and enjoy the space. You know what I mean? So I'm glad I, I filled it. Now there are some things in this room and I like to refer to them as the things we don't speak of. I know you ladies know what I'm talking about. I know you do. It's called audio equipment. I love audio. I love good sound, but boy, oh boy, can it mess up the look of a room. Ain't that the truth? You see, if you have speakers, you want them pulled out so many feet from the wall. Who came up with that idea? And then you need a center channel, and then you need, depending on what kind of sound system you're doing, 2.5 point, 7 point, um, for example, that can dictate the look of a room. And let's see, one, two, three, four, I don't, four, five, six, oh, six, seven. Okay, this is a seven point sound system. Yeah, my husband and I have a long going battle with the speakers. He pulls them out two feet from the wall. I'm like, I walk into the room and I'm like, why are those speakers sitting out in the middle of the room? Us women, we, we think middle of the room, they're not, I mean, but two feet from the wall, that's quite a bit of space and it looks awkward. It does, okay? And so sometimes when I go to clean the room, I'm like, those speakers look ridiculous. And I will literally lift them up and push them as close to the wall as I can. And then when we come up here to watch a movie, I sometimes think my husband won't notice. Yeah, he notices every time. Liz, did you push my speakers back towards the wall? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so? Well, they don't belong there. Well, they do in my book, buddy. That's what I wanna say. That's what I want to say. They look ridiculous. And then you've gotta deal with in ceiling, on wall speakers, then you've got the projector. It's all wonderful, right? But when you're a woman and you love to decorate, these things can drive you mad. Oh, let's not even mention the subwoofer because the subwoofer, I told them, I said, that subwoofer is going in a basket. I can't stand it. It looks ridiculous. He's like, no, it's not. I said, oh, yes, it is. When I find the perfect basket, it's going in there. I told him I saw a gal on YouTube, actually several girls on YouTube, and their husbands allow them to put their subwoofers in concealment of a basket or something like that. But mine won't let me. I pout about these things, but in the long run, I wanna make him happy. It's his happy place too, after all. So, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see, it's, it's just not cute. Meet exhibit A. Meet exhibit B. Meet exhibit C. And D is beside it, the subwoofer. Enough ranting about the speakers because I could literally go on all day. That's how much I despise them. But that's beside the point. Um, let's talk about ambiance because next to the movie screen, in a perfect world, I would like hardwired wall sconces on dimmers so that when you're watching a movie, you can dim it. Um, anyway, I have decided for now to hang a lantern. And the way I've achieved this look is I went to Hobby Lobby and I got two brackets. I put one there, one on the other side, and I'm gonna be hanging a Kirkland's lantern with my LED flameless flickering candles that have a remote.
So here's my lantern. It's wood and black, and I'm just gonna hang it. And now I'm gonna hang another lantern on that hook. If you guys wanna hang some big scale lanterns, these hooks work great. Um, I actually tried some other hooks from Hobby Lobby and no cigar. I had to take them back and then I got these larger ones and they work perfect. They give you plenty of clearance um, from their back so you can hang it. All right, sweet friends, I'm gonna have to leave my video here today. This will be part one, part two, and the tour will be on Friday. Um, I just, I'm not gonna get this finished today. I have to get my barn lights installed that are gonna go above my floating shelves from you know what, and those Hobby Lobby shelves I told you about that are horrible. Um, anyway, I'm installing some barn lights above them, and so that will be Friday, and we have one, two, three, four, four more areas to decorate, and then we'll do a tour. You can see the sectional, the movie screen, the projector. I may pop some popcorn for us, and uh, yeah, so join me Friday, and we'll wrap this video up. I'll see you then, guys. Mwah! Love you. The club will go on